Hello, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where I'm bringing Albert back from dropping off our satellite in orbit here, and Bobby is trying to get to Minmus. How's that going? All right, good. Okay, so we got a. That's a good. Uh, that's a good periapsis, seventy-two thousand uh, meters. Okay, and. Eight minutes to my leave or no. Seventy-two thousand isn't low on Minmus, by the way. Oh, I know it's not. Okay, but it's kind of like the best I can get right now. I will. Uh, re, yeah, uh, usually what I do, if I'm just trying to fly by and not trying to get an orbit, um, when I'm out there, as soon as mm -hmm. I get the like cross into that encounter zone. You can use the uh, radial and anti-radial to yeah. bring your... I forget about that. You just kind of rotate the thing a little in. And that, yeah, you're right, because that actually does push your... Uh, it does kind of like push the angle of your orbit or... No, sure. Does something mathematically. Ah, <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> this is a one-minute burn, so we gotta wait till we are t-minus thirty seconds. This time we are targeted on our maneuver node. How much delta v do I have left? That is a very good question. Vessel delta v. Ugh. Well, that should be fine. I'll have to get it. Actually, oh, I'm going to do what I did last time when I went to the MUN because this is going to. Oh, I'm not going to get a good orbit around Minimus, though. All right, there we go. About to kind of come back into the atmosphere. I'm going to start using up some of our Delta V here, our leftover fuel. All right, we're chugging along here, getting my apoapsis growing. I'm actually going to slow down my acceleration just a little. Did that give me an actual minimus encounter or... No, it did not. Why did it say my freaking SAS went out again? Um, if you can't, some, I've noticed that if you're on like hold maneuver node, when you clear your, when you cancel the node, it turns the SAS off. It doesn't switch it back to stability assist. No, oh, okay. So I have plenty of electric charge. Ah, uh, let's see here. So let's, so if I do this here, we're going to add a maneuver here. If I burn anti-radial, that is going to get me on an escape velocity of Kerbin. I don't want that just yet. That's going to get me further away. I don't want that. All right, just about time to deploy our shoots. 7,000 meters and closing quickly. Oh, God. What? what? Ah! 
What are you doing? I hit a wrong button, apparently. What did you do? Uh, I apparently warped to the... I hit the wrong warp to button. Okay. So, I started, you know, warping really far away. Then ah. I'm very far away from my maneuver node. <sighs> okay, so let's... Let's use our maneuver nodes. <clears throat> Shoots are up, and we're almost down. Oh, the mun is gonna fuck me there. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. And we're down. Let's uh, recover. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can take and uh, set up, program the rest of these satellites that are up here a while. Since uh, we need to do that. So let's go to our stationary. And we're going to tell this one. Let's see, which are the ones that we're using already? How? These two, okay. So this one is going to target ComSat 1. And this one is going to target ComSat 2. And then we are going to turn our Omni back on, even though it's fairly useless. Okay, let's switch to ComSat 1. What's wrong? Nothing. I keep fucking this shit up because, you know, I lose all sense of intelligence. Let's see. Um... At least this way I'm back to getting a good, somewhat good periapsis. Nice. This guy needs to up? target ComSat 2. Excellent. And then the other one should be set up already. Excellent. All right, let's uh, head back to the Space Center and launch the third one. I apparently advanced time way too quickly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We still got this, though. <laughs> Okay, um, let's launch the next satellite, I guess. We might be able to get the last of them done here. Load. Let's see what we can do. And I'm actually going to put these struts on. That went missing. Although it looks like they might actually still be there. Um, All right, we got our encounter with Minimus. Uh, let's let's uh, undo that. Grab that three-way thing here. There we go. Like that. Hopefully that'll help. Uh, save and launch. So you got your encounter with Minmus? Yep. Let's see here. And I have 922 Delta V left. I'm going to hopefully slow myself down enough. This is only going to take me 200... Uh, 
kilometers above minimus. But if I slow myself down as soon as I get into its SOI. All right, uh, throttle up and away we go again. Yeah, you're just going to have to be, with only 900 left, you're going to have to be real careful about how you use your fuel when you're out there. Mm -hmm. Trying to see minimus. Uh, get that uh, good uh, money shot for the video, but I can't find it. It's probably goes to say, oh, there it is. Probably goes to say why. I know oh, anywho. It goes to say a lot of things. Ah, oh, all right. So let's get in Minimus's uh, sphere of influence here. Come on. Uh oh. What uh oh? I'm losing control. Because I tried to be a little bit sneaky. Oh, okay, revert. <laughs> um, I should know better. That always seems to go wrong. I'm just like, this thing launches really slow. Let's turn on some physical time acceleration. Mm. Nope. Launch again. We'll take it the slow way this time. Are you uh, in the sphere of influence yet? I'm in the sphere of influence. I'm adjusting. I'm trying to adjust my orbit efficiently so I can get close enough, but yet. Well, that's, that gives me a pretty high. Effort. You want to try and get your orbit low enough. Are you trying to get an orbit? I know I'm trying to, I'm trying to just get a flyby low. Okay, enough. so use your radial things to adjust yeah. your orbit cuz you're basically flying by at a straight line. Yep. That's pretty much what I'm doing. It's just uh 18 is a good altitude, right? Yeah, 18 should be fine. Okay. That's only 40 delta V. All right. All right. Let's not forget to do like the science and stuff, Calcott. Yeah, don't don't forget to do the high science before you warp in. And be mm. very careful about your deployed solar panels. <laughs> They're really easy to knock off. All right. I yeah, usually retract do, uh, them. Well, mystery <laughs> goo go uh Mystery Goo isn't affected, um, no, Mystery Goo isn't affected, what? uh, Mystery Goo doesn't work at a biome level, does it? Uh, altitude it does. You'll get, you can get high and low Mystery Goo. Uh, so we'll do Mystery Goo, high, keep that data, and we'll wait for the crew reports and everything for when we get nearby. I suppose I could. Oh, I say it's on. Come on. All right, we're at 16, 17,000 meters. Somehow I don't think we're going to get the fourth one launched in this episode. But maybe we can get the fourth one launched in the next one, and we can get the mapping satellite launched next time. Speed as quickly as you can to our maneuver node. All right, and get in position. Bring up our map. There 
There we go. 12,000 uh, meters. All right, now we're just going to warp time so we're in space low. And that leaves me with 881 delta V to attempt to uh, to attempt to land. I mean that should be enough. It doesn't nice. take a lot of delta V to bring your your uh, periapsis back into the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, you're probably just going to want to save a little bit to. Well, actually, it probably doesn't even matter. The mm -hmm. biggest thing is just going to be getting it right so that you don't you know explode. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, we're in space high. We are still falling. A thousand kilometers above the terrain. All right, let's get this orbit circularized, hopefully. Throttle like up. What's up? He kind of scared me. We are kind of passing underneath Minimus. <laughs> so it kind of scared me there when I didn't see my uh, periapsis uh, going, you know, around entirely. Yeah. Let's see here. What is our altitude? Our altitude is 500 kilometers. Stage. Actually, I'm sure it'll stop once we get in space. Whoa. Come on. There we go. In space low. Okay, close enough. Let's observe the mystery view. All right, we're going to come around to this side, roughly, and bring our orbit out this way. Um, yeah, I think we should be in a good position once we get around to here. All right, that materials bay was worth 100 science. Yep. Uh, get a crew report. All right, let's rotate around, find our pro grade. You guys probably know the drill by now. We've done this enough. Still over the flats. Get a little bit closer to our maneuver. See, Minimus was the first planet I've, I uh, technically ever landed anything on in this game. Moon. Well, yeah, first, first, cel first celestial body. <clears throat> All right, we need a three-hour orbital period again. You didn't land on the Mun first. No, I didn't. I, I I landed, I landed a Kerbal on the Mun first. I landed a probe on Minimus first. Interesting. Yes. 
Now, the first thing I ever landed on was the mountain. And then I proceeded to do it about like four times in a row because I kept screwing up my quick saves. Hmm. I'm waiting for my biome to change. I'm still considered over the flat so I can get another... Oh, you know what? Before I forget, take temperature reading. All right, we're up to a just about an hour and a half orbital period. Approaching the two hour mark, two hours. And stop. There we go, three hours, one minute, close enough. Let's ditch the fairings. And we will set this up the rest of the way. Still over the flats. <laughs> I remember it being, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm too far away. I remember it being a little bit more detailed than this green blob. Eh. No, Mimis isn't very detailed. Uh. All right, let's let's set these dishes up. So, mission control, activate. Active vessel, activate. Stationary comsat, activate. Comsat one, activate. Must not be that many biomes on freaking uh, minimus. Um, there are, but it's like the Mun, they're like, there's, there's a lot of big, there's like several big biomes, but most of the biomes are like small. Mm -hmm. And Comsat 2, activate, that should be everything. Um, we need to get our... Omnidirectional. Okay. And now I think we're going to do things a bit differently this time because I don't really want to... I don't really care to warp out to our apoapsis. Let's, uh... Oh, well, I'm in space high now, so it doesn't matter. Switch over to this guy. Now warp to our... Exiting of the Sphere of Influence. And we will rename you to Comsat 3. I okay. Not my Apolapsis yet. Nope. Switch back. Now, I... Let's see here. So, my escape velocity, or my escape trajectory from Minimus is going to put me at about a 5 million... Uh, meter uh, periapsis around. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. I just crossed the sphere of influence, right? Did I? My, I just crossed something. Hold on, let me. No, oh, yeah, I'm definitely in the. Actually, it changed a little bit. I'm showing. Actually, I think I'm. According to this, I'm on an impact trajectory. For uh. Yeah. Oh wait, no, it just freaking changed again. What the hell? All right, now it's back to saying I originally had a four million meter uh. Thing, or uh, periapsis. So now, we're gonna warp to our apoapsis, and burn retrograde, and. Is it a satellite? Uh, or is it a... Bleh, not a satellite. A asteroid come really close to us? Yep. Okay. So let's see here. Yeah, it's we're still on the map? Uh, yeah, there's one still on the map. Okay. Now we just need to 
get back down in the atmosphere. So let's us lower our periapsis here. So I can go a little bit faster than this. Two million meters, one million meters. Oh, we are going to be going so flipping fast when we hit the atmosphere. Yes, you are. Oh. All right. How much Delta V do I have left? We have, oh, 817 Delta V left. That will be plenty. You need to bring your, you do need to probably bring down to like 44,000-ish. I am at 43. You're probably all right there. I would not go any lower than that. Yeah, but I mean, just from, but I'm coming out from 60,000. Right, 000, I know. Or, yeah, for 60 million meters. Uh, so, you know, You'll probably be going about 3,000 meters per second when you get here. All right. Everyone here, that's we're just going to add a maneuver node here just so we can warp to it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of killing the rest of my fuel here before I get back in the atmosphere. I, I don't have... I did it... I re-entered a little bit differently this time. So, I don't have nearly as much Delta V left. So I can't really skip the re-entry effects this time. Um, so Aldbart might be in trouble. <laughs> All right, so now we are 30. We are a little bit closer than that. Let's see here. I'm at uh, 1,200 meters a second. Let's see, uh, but I'm still pretty far out. Let's see, what, let's see if Dan's speed... Uh, is Dan's speed uh, estimates are correct? You've got uh, you got four satellites up. Yeah, I got one more to go though, and we are almost at the end of the episode here. I just want to see if Albert's gonna die. Yeah. I'm very much expecting these parachutes to burn off. Mm. No, well, one's already going, maybe. Oh, no, actually, looks like we made it, surprisingly enough. All right, well, why don't we uh, pick back up with this next time? Um, if you liked the video, click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for more Kerbal Space Program. Thanks for watching. Bye.